Questions for Self-Knowledge The Aim of Non-Duality, Self-Knowledge The central message of non-dual traditions comes down to the following proposition. The discovery of what is real and the resolution of suffering, seeking, and doubt is obtained by a clear understanding of one's real nature. In short, the aim of spiritual endeavor is self-knowledge. By definition, whatever we are is already here. Therefore, the self to be known by self-knowledge must be already present in our immediate experience. Our being is not something distant or separate from who we are. It is who we are. In self-knowledge, we are not obtaining something new, but clarifying what is already present, though perhaps not clearly known or fully appreciated. We are not waiting for a future experience in which we will obtain something that we do not yet have. Nor are we waiting to achieve a special state of enlightenment, awakening, or anything else of the sort. The point is simply to clarify one's already present nature, what we are not and what we are. The first step is to get a basic sense of what our identity could be. Whatever we are must be constantly with us. The qualities of our essential nature must be invariably present in who we are. Things which arise and pass away or undergo change cannot be essential characteristics of ourselves. Given this premise, none of the following can be the essence of what we are because they all appear and disappear. Thoughts, feelings, sensations, perceptions, experiences, states, perceived objects. These are all appearances that come and go. None of them stays constant in our direct experience. For this reason, they do not qualify as candidates for our real nature. So we must set them aside as not being the essence of what we are. What remains? Is there anything else left? One might conclude that there is nothing else left to consider. If this is true, our real nature must be non-existent. But this conclusion is premature. There is still something more to consider. First, there is a sense of being, the sense that we are. In spite of the ever-changing flow of experiences, we also know that we are present, that we exist. We know that we remain present in and through the changing experiences. Otherwise, how could we know the presence of changing experiences? Furthermore, this presence is not void or inert. It is conscious, cognizant, aware. This sense of being present and aware must be what we are because it is the only possible remainder after all the other possibilities have been exhausted. This investigation provides the essential clue about what is to be known in self-knowledge. It is our present true identity, the essential characteristic of which is to be present and aware. We are and we are aware. As will become clear in what follows, we are not dealing with two different things here, that is, presence and awareness. Instead, we are acknowledging one principle that can be viewed in different ways or pointed to with different labels, all of which refer to the same basic essence. To clarify terms, when referring to the sense of being present, the following terms are used interchangeably. Presence, being, existence, or the sense that you are. When referring to the awareness aspect of our nature, the following terms are used. Awareness, consciousness, cognizance, or knowing, among others. In addition, because we are dealing with a single principle or phenomenon, our true nature, hyphenated terms are sometimes used, such as presence awareness, being awareness, being consciousness, aware presence, and so on. In all cases, the pointers refer to the same principle, your essential true nature. So our true nature is that principle within us that is present and aware. Once we have this insight, we are in a position to have a good look and fully appreciate what this present true nature is.